Welcome back. Kahila Theater is now back working on a musical that it started before the pandemic. After a long wait, Matilda opens next month, and we're getting an early look at the show. Matilda is coming to the Kahilu Theater, and I have a chance to talk with the artistic director, Chuck Gessert, as well as the star of Matilda, Addison Lathrop. Thank you so much for joining us on Living 808. Our pleasure. Great to be here. Well, we love hearing about all of the uh, fantastic productions you have happening at the theater and that you bring to us on TV to watch. So tell me more about the background of Kahilu Theater. Kahila Theater was uh, founded and, and actually built by Richard Smart, one of the heirs to the Parker Ranch. And um, he had um, spent some time on Broadway. And then when it was his turn to run the ranch, he came back home and as a gift to the community of Waimea, uh, built this beautiful Broadway style uh, theater here in the heart of Waimea. Perfect and to have a venue like this for a show like this. Tell me more about Matilda the Musical. We're excited to uh, finally begin rehearsals for uh, Matilda, which uh, started this week. And um, it, it's just been uh, great getting back together with the cast that we um, you know, really put together about two years ago. Addison, been a long wait for you. How excited are you to finally get to working in this role? <laughs> I'm really excited to be able to actually see everybody and get to practice with them in person instead of just hearing about everybody. Tell me about yourself. Are there any similarities that you can draw on between yourself and Matilda, the character you're playing? Well, Matilda isn't afraid to speak up when things are wrong or not right. And she has a very big imagination and she's very dramatic and I feel I can be the same way. Tell our viewers about your background. How did you get started in theater? Well, I've been singing and acting in, in my church production since I was four. And I was also in dance lessons and took piano for a few years while I was younger. Chuck, tell me about Matilda and how people, you know, can get tickets. It's coming up about just a few weeks from now. Right. Well, um, we're still under restrictions as to our capacity at the theater. So uh, right now we're planning on, um, and we've been approved by the uh, mayor, uh, to have 100 people in, in our 484-seat theater. Um, so uh, tickets will go on sale later this week, uh, but there will only be a few tickets uh, uh, available. Generally for these uh, productions that involve youth, we sell out every show. So unfortunately, this uh, because of rights restrictions, we won't be streaming this on Kihilu TV, but just about all of our other productions, as you know, um, do live stream on Kihilu TV. So we're able to do this, I think, mainly for, uh, again, for the community of, of actors that we have here um, and finally get this this one on the board, so, so to speak. Addison, what do you think that the guests will like about this show? Are the songs catchy? Is it a good storyline? What do you think that they're gonna really enjoy about this? Yeah, both the songs are really catchy and I feel like with everybody like working together in the storyline, it's a really funny play and it's, it's just really great and I'm super excited for everybody to see it and I think they'll really like the storyline and the songs. Well, congratulations. We look forward to seeing this. I'm sure the buzz is going to be good. Uh, Addison, Chuck, thank you for joining us on Living It Away. Well, thank you. Thank you. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say the subsequent fall was inevitable. They never stood a chance, they were written that way. Innocent victims of their story. Like Romeo and Juliet. T'was written in the stars before they even met. That's love and fate and a touch of stupidity would rob them of their hopes of living happily. The endings are often a little bit gory. I wonder why they didn't just change their story. Very cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's there, great. There's a look at Addison, uh, who's been waiting to bring this character life on stage for a couple of years. They had the concept of this. Of course, we know uh, everything that happened, but tickets finally going to sell. They're rehearsing it and will actually get to perform it to about 100 guests. And they've had a lot of time to rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and think about it. That's cool. Well, coming up, a